We're talking all about pie today, chocolate peanut butter pie. That's all I really need to say because it's fantastic. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to make a chocolate version of my peanut butter pie. It is to die for. Let's just get started because it's so good and easy to make. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. We're starting off with a box of chocolate pudding mix. This is just a, the small size box. It's about 3.4 or so ounces. And you're gonna add that to a large bowl along with one and a quarter cups of non-fat milk. And then whisk that together until it's nice and smooth. It'll be thicker than when you make regular pudding mix because you're using less milk. Another thing I love about this is that you can take out some of the sugar by using a sugar-free pudding mix and sugar-free Cool Whip. Super, super simple to do that. They even make sugar-free Oreos that you can make your crust with. Then you're going to mix in three quarters of a cup of creamy peanut butter. I absolutely love this OXO um, sticky measuring cup. It makes it so easy to measure out peanut butter. I'll link that one down below. Um, and then just whisk that together until it's nice and thick. Um, you may need to switch to a spatula, but whisk it together. It'll be really, really thick, but nice and chocolatey and peanut buttery. Then you're going to add an eight ounce container of whipped topping. Um, I'm using Cool Whip. You can use the generic brand if you want. One thing I love about using Cool Whip is that the pie, um, it, it's more stable. Cool Whip is way more stable than freshly whipped cream. You can substitute about three cups of freshly whipped cream in this. You just have to be careful to fold it in and not mix it. Um, otherwise, um, the whipped cream will break and the pie will not solidify. Now make sure and fold that in carefully. You can use a hand mixer for this, but I don't even wanna get it dirty because it's easy to just fold it in since we're using the whipped topping. I don't have to be as careful, but just keep folding until that chocolate mixture go mixes in with the Cool Whip. Then just add it to your pie crust. Now when it comes to a crust, I'm using an Oreo crust today, but you can use any of my no-bake crust recipes that you want, um, or you can make my all-butter pie crust if you want it to be a semi-baked pie. I love making it no-bake, plus the combination of Oreos and chocolate and peanut butter are fantastic. And that's it. Once you are done and it is chilled, you have a chocolatey peanut buttery pie with that crunchy Oreo crust. Oh, it's so good. I topped it with some more Cool Whip and I'm adding some chopped Reese's peanut butter cups on top, but you could top it with chocolate chips. You could leave it plain, drizzle some peanut butter and chocolate over the top. So many different ways. No matter how you make it, this is gonna be one of your favorite pies, especially if you love chocolate and peanut butter as much as I do. Leave me a comment, let me know what you're gonna to add to the top of it and keep watching for even more pie recipes.